Hey, welcome back. It's your boy, Willie D. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Episode 16. 16. And it's a special one. It's the Christmas episode. It's the holiday season. We had to think about it. There was a lot of mental math on whether this would be the Christmas episode or the one that came out two days after Christmas. And we figured we'd probably rather get it out of the way. Two days after Christmas, you're going to be moving you on. You guys are going to be fully into New Year's. The season. newest year. You're going to be yeah. into their new toys, their new... Yes. There you go. Games. Good. You are so good. I'm excited for Christmas. <laughs> Me too. It's I hope, easily my favorite holiday. Actually, I'm a, I've always been a Thanksgiving guy, but right now it's hard to look you in the eyes and say it's not Christmas. Yeah, when you're wearing what you're wearing right now, you cannot <laughs> yeah. tell me you don't like Christmas. I love Christmas. We love got it. we got a good episode for you guys today. We have pitches as usual. We have your pitches, our pitches, and then we have Christmas movies that don't exist Yep. and Christmas traditions that Will and I like to do with our family. Yep. It's going to be epic. Um. Yeah, we we might blow your minds today. Oh wait, I forgot to give you guys. I brought you little gifts. Oh, oh yeah, so, so something slight. But Where did you get this? Just somewhere. Jesus. Around the corner. Around the corner. Oh, so I got them from my home. This is very cute. Let's eat these later because these are going to be super loud. Yeah. That you you, like you are canes? good. I love candy canes. I like. Here's my question: What do you eat on Christmas? We eat Thanksgiving dinner before Christmas. Do you really? Like on Christmas Eve, we'll eat Thanksgiving dinner like again. turkey, turkey like the whole. It's like, it's like the leftovers. The whole night, yeah. My, it's like it's been weeks. Disgusting. It's been a yeah. year. Um, and then on the on Christmas morning, my mom makes popovers. If you're familiar, no popover. I introduced Kenward to popovers when he came to my house for Thanksgiving. I thought they were like pr- more commonplace. Apparently, it's more specific to my family than I thought. It's like a. It's like it sounds like I'm doing like a. Like a a dessert that doesn't exist right now. Yeah, but yeah. Like what is popo? It's like um, they're like these really eggy pastries. So it's like and th- what they call them popovers because when you heat them up, they come out and they like whoosh, like out of the like a muffin thing. It's like a muffin, but it's like much eggier. Like there, you can. It sounds it sounds like not good with the way I'm describing it. <laughs> I just keep saying eggy. They're really good. And you cut them in half, and I'll butter them, and then she has like a bunch of different preserves and jams and Ooh. whatnot, and uh, and then. I don't know. What do you guys do for Christmas dinner? I feel like Christmas dinner. Christmas dinner is like an afterthought. Yeah, it's not a thing that ha- really happens in my. We house. always go. We always go to a movie on Christmas. Ooh, we go to the theaters, and it's like every year. It's like technically like a new person gets to pick, but it, it, at this point, it's just like a pendulum. It goes back and forth between the boys getting to pick and the girls yeah. getting to pick, and like the other demographic always hates what they pick. So <laughs> then it's like, all right, you messed it up. Like, yeah, we had one year. We all on Christmas went and saw the movie War Horse. Oh. Fucking terrible! I hate what is that War Horse. It, this was like probably eight years ago, okay. but it's yeah. like an iconic. Like the girls lost the ability to pick the movie for like two years after War Horse. Be, yeah, you guys, they were on. Uh, I, I said you guys like you were part of the girls' side <laughs> yeah. for some reason. Um, they, they lost privileges. I there's nothing worse than being like stuck in a theater and just and like the person that picked it. Yeah. Like, it just has to sit there and, like, knows everyone else is hating it. Yep. And they know they signed us all up for they it. They know they signed us all up for it, baby. All right. Yeah. Should we hear what the playmates got to say? Some pitch wise. Yeah. Some pitchy witchies. Let's do it. Let's hear them. I was hoping we would have some Christmas themed ones, but we don't. I have Christmas. Little... I have Christmas themed oh, ones. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, yeah. My pitches are all Christmas. I asked, I asked Lauren if, if anyone submitted Christmas themed ones, and she was like, no, you have to remember that, like, it for them it's not yeah, like yeah. it's December twelfth today or something for them the eleventh for them for us it's not <laughs> no but I mean like like when they're yeah. listening to this like it yeah. sounds like we're recording it whatever yeah. it's a week before this episode comes out so yeah. yeah um my question is before we get into that I was going to ask you if you had a favorite Christmas present that you remember from your of all time like iconic dude I remember the fir- I'll tell you I'll give you two options. I'm going to tell you the first one I remember, and then I'm going to tell you my favorite one. Okay. The first one I remember was like a pirate ship thing, and like it had holes in the top that you could like move the pirates around and like rearrange them in like different scenarios. So like sometimes I would have them like they were swabbing the deck, and they would all be like facing each other. And then there was sometimes where I would like pin certain ones against each other and pretend there was like a war going on, and... Now that I'm saying it out loud, it doesn't sound that fun. But no, it in, does. But it's hard in, to picture. But, right? Is but, it Legos or? N- it was like, you remember when. Like Playmobil? This sounds so dumb, but like, you remember when like plastic became a thing? Like it was just like one, like, 
Like, like, what? like. Honestly, no. I don't think you remember. I think that was like the eighties. I mean, like for me, for me, like when when it was like it felt like people were making more things. Like it was it was easier to just make shit. Like they could just be like, I don't know, let's fucking make a pirate shit. Like it was, you know what I mean? It wasn't now. Oh I, yeah, I remember. Now that. Like, I feel like there's more checks and balances for like toys and stuff like <laughs> that. Like it, it has to go through more people before they're like, yeah, we should make that. Okay. This yeah. one, this one felt like some guy they would like he forgot about the deadline. Yeah, and like the day of in the meeting was just like, I don't know, it's a fucking, <laughs> it's a fire ship. Just fucking <laughs> put holes in the top of it, you can move them around. Okay, yeah, it sounds fun. I'm picturing they move around like bubble hockey, kind of like the, they have slots they can move in. Yeah, I, this was years ago, but the, yeah. the way I'm remembering it, it was kind of like that. Okay, I remember one year, my we do you guys do like one present on Christmas Eve? No. You can open like one present. I like that. No. We like did that sometimes. Now I don't think we do it, but like when I was a kid, I remember. Cause she didn't want me to. My mom didn't want me to like grab like the best, the best one. one. Yeah, yeah. And I remember I picked one up, and I like th- was pretty confident it was like the big thing I was asking for. And she was like, "No, like let's save that one for tomorrow." And handed me another one. It was a book, and I was <laughs> fucking fear. It, I it, in hindsight it was su- being such a little asshole, but like it was like. It was it was also a book that was way above my like reading level at the time. So it was like, <laughs> it was like an <laughs> insult. Like, you wish, bitch. <laughs> Even if I like wanted to read it that night, I don't think I could. It was um I want to say Beowulf or whatever. What's that? Beowulf? Ba- like it the the co- I still have it. The cover is is fur. Like it looks really strange on my book. It's next to my bed on my bookshelf. And I'm like, picturing like the one from Yeah, Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. It's yeah. like it like it like gives off that vibe that's fun and what was your favorite one i just remember there was a christmas where it was like my dad god love him put the most work uh, apparently he was I, we heard the story after apparently he was up like all night because he <laughs> built an air hockey table wow. yeah in our basement and apparently like and and a foosball table or maybe those are different years but i just remember apparently he like made it to the end and realized he had fucked it up and he had to like go back so he was literally up like until christmas morning uh, helping Santa assemble it, and uh, <laughs> what a and then, saint! Dude. And then he gave us. It was like a big box for me, my brother, and my sister. And we opened it, and it was like a slightly smaller box that we opened. And then there was a, it was like <laughs> eight different boxes, and at the end, it was like go down to the basement. Aww. And I just remember yeah. we were running down the stairs and just like losing our minds. It was the best. That's fucking sick. And, but the best value Christmas present I ever got, like eight years ago, whenever Spotify came onto the scene, I asked for Spotify for Christmas. Mm-hmm. And it just, like, two months ago, I finally had to get my self. Like, I had to start paying for it. But it, I just yeah. it was had my parents paying seven ninety nine a month for, like, seven or eight years. Do your parents... Yeah, the gift that truly kept on they, giving. Yeah, kept giving for <laughs> years. Do your parents still pay for your, um, like, cell service? Like, I haven't brought it up to That's them. The but, like, thing. I'm so worried one of these days they're going to find out. Like my gr- like that like they definitely know I'm still on there, but it like just hasn't yeah. crossed their mind. Like that's gonna be a real bitch when that when that comes back around. I just had to get my own health insurance, and that's like now cell service is like the last bastion of my dependence on them. Yeah, which I want to keep going as long. Did as you, I dude? I did. You, I picked my health insurance like with uh, with Emily Marcus because <laughs> I just like couldn't figure out how to do it, and she was like, "Well, I have this one," and I kind of like ripped through it and like didn't read all the things, and I think I have like the bottom tier everything. the worst i have to i i signed up for dental because i want to go and get this taken off the yeah the, i mean i don't know if that'll be one? covered no. he has like a gold, a gold tooth oh. from he's like a number we what? were at we were at um eric andre's birthday party and chester yeah. was like you should get this on your tooth and i w- and i woke up in the morning it's like oh wait i feel like i have heard it's this. like pretty expensive too like casey paid for it but it was like i don't want to like say the number but it was like it was like more. It, it was Say, why don't, like I don't know, it was. A, it was. The, it's the most expensive inconvenience that I have like in fair. my life. And um, yeah, like I'll be talking to people and like they'll be like, "You have something in your tooth," and then I have to have this full conversation with someone where they're like, "Well, what's the three mean?" And Chance I, the rapper, right? I don't like Chance. I don't know. Maybe I'm just like. Oh, I love my I wife. Really yeah, I love my um, wife. How old were you guys when you found out Sansa wasn't real? Oh, I, I actually, remember the day. This feels fucked up to even <laughs> being saying, but I hope that no one, if there's any kids listening, I, I'm i sorry if this is how you found out. Yeah. Um, we've said way, we've said stuff that's way worse. Yeah, but the, like nothing, yeah, I guess that's probably true. Um, Talk about like poop and pee. Actually, I guess that's, <laughs> it's like, I guess that's, that's pretty, right in their wheelhouse. I guess that's pretty childish. Mine was yeah. my aunt. I was definitely like a little, I loved clinging on to like 
the I was the youngest of my siblings by far. Yeah. So and my cousin. So I was like kind of the last person. And I just remember there was a Christmas where my aunt went. Uh, don't I said something about Santa and my aunt just goes, "Don't even act like you still believe in Santa." <laughs> oh, and I did, and I was like, "Wait, how old were you?" Oh, I don't really remember because I don't want to say like an embarrassing age, but yeah, I was on like the higher edge. Like I was probably gonna find out within the next year or two, but like <laughs> she just dropped that. Don't even <laughs> act like you still believe in Santa, which is like you can't come back from that. No. Like it was over, and it then was yeah, shattered. and then you don't even have the time to like mentally process it. You yeah. immediately have to like. Get into adult mode. To yeah, be like, like, be like obviously, I'm not I didn't acting like that. that. I'm gonna go to my room for something else and lock the door, and you don't come talk to me. I was in my, uh, I was in the lunch line with like a couple, <laughs> a couple of my boys, and uh, I remember, like in hindsight, being like too, like it was like sh- also too old. It, it wasn't. It wasn't. And it <laughs> like not to sound like a dick or anything, but it was like we were like normal kids. Like it wasn't like we were like the weird kids that were like, yeah you know, I had other things about them that were kind of in line with still believing in Santa in, like, sixth grade. But, like, yeah. it was, like, it went on for, like, much too long. I think, legitimately, I think like, sixth grade's a little. It was, like, legitimately, like, fifth or sixth grade. Like, like yeah. way too old. I think and it was fourth. This kid, Aiden Hubs, came up to us, and he was just, <laughs> like, Hubs. it was, like, he figured, he had just figured it out and, like, wanted to, like, ruin it for everyone else. Yeah. And he was just, like, you know he's not real. And we were like, "What are you? What are you talking about?" He's like, "Santa, he's not real." <laughs> and we were just like, <laughs> "That's so just all up. sitting at lunch, being like, dude, <laughs> this is fucked.' This is so, uh, like, hey, ma'am, just going back to your mom and being like, home. "You fucking lied to me." You fuck <laughs> She's like, "You're 13. Yeah. I thought you would have. I thought you kind of figured that one you out." You have a mustache. Around. She was like, "I was. I've been joking about Santa for the last three years. I thought you were in on it." Uh, um, I had, I was also the youngest too, and like. You know, some older siblings will like be mean and like do that. My sisters like kept the charade up, like out of the kindness of their hope for like a while. Like yeah. if I was an older sibling, I'd be like, the second I found out, like I'm ruining it for you. Also. That's terrible. Really? I would yeah. probably. My siblings kept it. Though. Are you the youngest, Lauren? I'm the middle. Hmm. Add up. Sean checks out. Yep. Yeah, Sean. Check I out? forgot I about Sean. So. You ruined yeah, it for you... Sean, right? No, I don't remember. My friend ruined it for me. Sean's listening to this right now. He just like drops his laptop. <laughs> yeah, he's crying. He's a sophomore in college. No, he's he actually, <laughs> he actually just got a concussion. I feel bad. Oh, doing what? So his finals are all messed up. Um, he was. Oh playing, yeah, what do you like, even do if you were in the middle of finals? Yeah, and, like, hit your head. He was playing like intramural mm-hmm. basketball. I don't know. I feel bad. Um, I took a charge in intramural basketball. <laughs> I think <laughs> missing. He like hit his head on the ground. He's like failing he's college scared. now because he took a charge during finals. Yeah, I mean that is like. At some point, if it's during finals, it's like, what do you do? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't you, know. Really, you hope you have nice professors. Yeah. 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 All right, should we get into some? Yeah, pitches? let's hear some. Let's hear some playmate pitches. All right, some so bitch of witches. I don't know. This is I very like on track with you know we say that like some of the names we get are just like not real names. Yep. Like not even making fun. This is just like a fake name. Okay, Hill Yager. Hill. It's a sick name. That's fucking awesome. Hill? No, it's a cool name. I'm just like, that's, I've never yeah. heard that. Hill Yager. Hill Yager. How do you spell Yager? J A G R. Like Hill. the hockey player? Oh. No, I don't know. Y A U G E R. Yager. Yeah. Yager. Hill, H I L L. Yager. Right, so, that's crazy. <laughs> that's awesome. Hill said, no, it's a cool name. Does anyone with a normal name submit pitches? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, so he says, this is the best pitch you'll ever hear. You know how sometimes you have a big young. Calling girl? your shot is pretty big. Calling your shot is yeah, cocky. Yeah, a lot, a lot cocky. Babe Ruth finger that's, pointed at the outfield. That's cocky as all get out. Yeah. A being. lot of people do that. I just don't read that part. This is Steph Curry walking up and pointing at the logo. All right. <laughs> you know how sometimes you have a big yummy meal, but then have to spend... Oh. Maybe just kept, could have just kept talking. I know, sorry. That no, was pretty I distracting. I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna give her that one. I, I would not have kept talking if I was talking. Just like no. turn off all the cameras. Yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes you have a big yummy meal, but then have to spend 20 minutes strategically picking food out of your teeth with your tongue, and now your yes. tongue's kind of sore. But it's never worth getting an actual toothpick. The worst. Introducing little mouth guy, LMG, <laughs> if you will. He's one centimeter tall. And That's what I call Will. <laughs> My little mouth guy. And you and you pop him in after We're you on eat. A punk head. Okay, <laughs> guys, LMG, sorry, 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 sorry. LMG, LMG. he's one centimeter tall, and you pop him in after you eat, and he picks all the food out of your teeth real fast. Also, <laughs> also, if the table convo is getting dry, you can upgrade to LMG+, and he'll do tiny stand-up and little tricks on the table. <laughs> don't, a- <laughs> don't ask where we got him. Oh, uh, that's so Yeah, cool. I love it. Well done. That's a funny one. I like, I like Hill Yager. I like the video, I like the visual of him, <clears throat> like, 
you're talking to some fucking boring family friend. You, he just like is down on the table with a tiny microphone. He's like, "What the heck is up with airplane food?" <laughs> yeah. like, classic. Yeah. He would be, yeah. I mean, he sounds like a hit. Is he like subscription based or is he on salary? Um, I think you. I think you just get salary. Him. I feel like you don't. No, get just him. a little guy. You, get you just get him. <laughs> He's just Will. Will would always say, uh, "You're just a. So you're just like a little guy that I get about dog. What about River? Yeah." So yeah. this is just a little guy that I get. That Will Angus is a little cute dog. Oh, yeah. So this is, this is just a little guy that you get to have. All right, Hill, that one's awesome. Let's I, hear the second one. I want OMG to be friends with. Remember my little guy I proposed that would be like mm. go and sneak in on your friends? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're like cousins. Yep. Maybe they, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe the same guy. Could be the same guy. You're just snooping in your mouth. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I don't want, honestly, can he like do some like dental work while he's in there too? Yeah, his drills. His drills. <laughs> you just hear like whirling. Yeah. You're just like sitting at the dinner table, clearly getting your teeth washed out. <laughs> He's the giant suction thing. Yeah. Okay. Next one is from Sydney Fez. This is a normal name. Is that Fez? mean to say these things? I think we should probably just keep them to ourselves, but he'll. he'll... What? Saying that people have weird names? No, I don't think it's bad. Just not no. typical, like John Smith. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in- mean about that, right? Or wait. Maybe I don't know. What? I don't know. No, I don't think there's anything. Mean. I'm just saying. We, I'm saying like I don't think we need to address it unless it's like an outrageous name. Like we don't have to be like, is this one a normal one? Like this we, one's weird. It's Fez is the last name. I've never heard that before. Fez How, from, like I've never. I had never heard Danellen until I met you. Same. Or I'd never heard Hoagland. Yeah, but it's yeah. not as fun to say as Fez. You're sitting next to a guy named Rusty Featherstone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's a, you have a great one. That's why I, I love your name. Uh, all right, Sid. She says. Idea for inventions that don't exist. Do you ever get a random chill and wonder, am I sick? Is it just cold in here? Do I need a sweatshirt or am I being deceived? Well, that's where real <laughs> temp comes in. Wait, time out. <laughs> Who would be deceived? Yeah, who's here? deceiving <laughs> you? <in this> case? <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's someone, there's someone with a, with like a, a small fan. fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that's where real temp comes in. It's a built-in th- thermometer on your finger that tells you the real temperature of the room or space that you're in. If you're feeling fancy, you could also use it to measure water temperature or whatever else your heart desires with burn immunity. You'll never have to listen to the BS weather app that's wrong time out. the time. It's a thermometer. What no, is it's it? built into your finger. So it's a thermometer no, no, built no, no. into wait, your wait, finger. Wait, wait. Time out, yeah. time out, time out, time out, time out. We're gonna move past burn immunity. What's burn immunity? With she burn. just she just said it all it also has burn immunity. <laughs> that sounds great. What is that? That sounds like the biggest perk oh, of like the whole... if you wanna like dip it in like hot water, oh, you won't get burnt. Oh, oh it's oh, a thermometer oh. built into your finger. I mean, yeah. that's... let's keep hearing. Let's just well, hear if there's, there's any other twist. Left. <laughs> You'll never have to listen to the BS weather app. That's wrong half the time. You can just stick your finger outside and you know how to dress for the day. It's a I feel like the weather app's pretty spot on, but I, but I, I see where her head's at. Also, I feel like when it comes to what, what you're going to wear for the day, if you just walk outside, you can tell. Yeah, like I don't... Like numbers don't The really number doesn't... Much. Yeah, the number does... Well, the number, if anything, confuses me. Yeah. Because I'll be like, it doesn't feel like 61. Like here sometimes it'll be like, it's 70 degrees, and I walk out, and I'm like, I'm kind of chilly. Mm-hmm. Or or it'll say or it'll say it's 61, but it's outside, and it's like legitimately the hottest. Like yeah. I'll be like sweating for some reason. It's like cold, but the sun's on you. Yeah. Guys guys figuring out... Guys weather, figuring out how weather works. Weather working in this real time. Insane. I mean, this is just a thermometer built in your finger. Yeah. What did she call it? Real um, temp. Real temp. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the name, even the name is just a thermometer. <laughs> I, like I like it. it. I, I like it. it. I like it. Yeah. I like it. I'm right. in. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Sydney. I feel like we, we keep getting more and more critical of these ideas. No, it's. So I funny. noticed that as well. We used to be. We used to be less. You guys used to be so kind. Well, it's because we're. It's because we're becoming jaded. There's too many. We can't say they're all good, yeah. or we lose credibility. It, it's also because we spend a considerable portion of our lives like coming up with. <laughs> yeah. Like coming up with business ideas that like inherently you're gonna be more critical of of them because Agreed. you're like well I've I've gone down that path and like yeah. and like I didn't come up with anything for that so like yeah we're defensive of our idea yeah, yeah. I, I, that one is a good idea it's just a funny way of saying a temperature a thermometer yeah. in your finger it's a yeah yep burn immunity sick though yeah bi okay <laughs> third pitch submission is from Asher's. Um, 
I don't know. If that's Asher right. is plural. <laughs> I can't say anything about it or else he's going to jump down my fucking throat. But that's a weird fucking name. No, 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 fuck it. I'll say no, it. What the fuck is Asher's? He doesn't. It's right. like Beyonce. No, it's a sick name. <laughs> it was just more. it was just funny the way Lauren said it because she, because if there's no last name, it does. It does sound like an artist name. Yeah. Well, well, he or she doesn't even have like a name list. It's just the user. Name with the oh, name. and you clicked on the profile. Oh, no, I just re- I'm reading it from there. Oh, he has. A, oh, okay. So no, 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 no. What's happening is his name is is like a a Asher's or, or something. Just Asher and his last name starts with an S. Well, she has a screenshot, so she's not even able to click on the profile. Okay, okay. What I'm what I'm saying is what I'm saying is like if in the same way that most people like your username would be like W Denellen. Yeah, yeah. She's implying that that's his real name. Like she like. It's definitely just A. Asher's. So yeah. it'll be like Alan Asher's, which what? would be a normal name. Or Asher's. That's why there are two A's or in the Asher beginning. Or Asher Smith. Or Asher Solomon. Yeah, so either way, <laughs> now it makes sense why all the names sound crazy. I agree. She, We're she's on just the same reading, yeah, she's, she's just, just reading, reading the, the username. The username. Kale Yager. <laughs> Whatever what? that. Um, that was an actual two-word phrase. Like, if you read his, it would be like, Featherstone, Featherstone Rusty. Rusty. What a crazy and we'd, name. Yeah, and we'd be like, what? Yeah. What the heck? Yeah. Or yours would this, be... This just flipped on... We just flipped this on Lauren's yeah, head. Yeah, we just flipped this on Lauren's head right now. Yeah. That's all right. We're all friends here. Yep. <sighs> We're all Christmas friends today. Christmas friends. Okay. <laughs> oh, I wish we had an elf on the shelf in here. I never did that. I, didn't I don't do really know what but that is, honestly. We'll, 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 we'll get into it. Oh, what? we'll get it. Apparently, we'll get into it. Um, we'll get into it. Okay. I got, some, I got, right. I got something for you okay, later. Okay. Asher's. <laughs> he says... Hey guys, I would like to submit my pitch for your consideration. Hunger freeze, working title. There we go. Ever been too tired, hungover, or broke to go to the grocery store yep. and cook yourself dinner? Yes. By the same token, have you ever been too broke or feel too unhealthy to order another takeout meal? Mm-hmm. Yes. Hunger freeze is an app on your phone you can sync up to your Apple Watch or equivalent device. Once per week to prevent you from malnutrition, you are allowed to instigate a hunger freeze within the app. <clears throat> For, for 24 hours, all feelings of hunger are... <laughs> Stop! It's a, no, 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 we're not. No, no, no. Sorry, I have to catch my breath. Yeah. The, for, for yeah. You're just talking. You're, you're not underwater. <laughs> 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 all right, just go. Keep going. Keep going. So, Lauren's keep like... Going. <sighs> keep going. Keep <laughs> going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. You, you can never do what we do, Lauren. <laughs> for 20- I like how the... Ju- the job, the job is to be able to talk into a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> no, not hers necessarily, I guess. Speaking. All right. 24 hours, all feelings of hunger are covered and all of your cravings are satisfied, saving you both money and effort. Using similar technology, as is used to monitor your heart rate through an Apple Watch, the app sends a pulse to your digestive system to... S- Wait, what? Sounds to really... To it processing food, therefore making you feel as though you've eaten and preventing those pesky... Belly rumbles. This sounds like a, like the pat- not a good the thing. The patented technology <laughs> can then be sold to diet slash nutrition companies to support weight loss goals. Oh uh, God! Yeah, yeah. This feels okay. like like a. Should I not have read that? Here's here's the no 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 no. That was completely fine. Here's the thing. On paper, fine. But here's here's what's gonna happen, right? It's like facilitating. Hacker, yeah, eating hackers are gonna get in there and start selling it to people who have eating disorders which Why is not something don't have to do that even well he says it he says it can only do it once a week so uh, it would be people who would go in and re and manipulate the code so that you could do it every day and then will and i would now be directly uh you know involved in in um eating disorders which is not something that we support no. yeah I, or, let me rephrase we like we will support you if you have one but like we meant that but we, you know, okay, okay, no, right. no, no, i just no. wanted to, i just wanted to clarify <laughs> that um. Yeah. Jesus Christ. That one is brutal. <laughs> that feels like, like I, I see where you're coming from, <laughs> but I don't. I don't yeah. think that's. Um, well, here's you know. Here's I don't the, think I'm gonna invest in that one. Here's the thing. A- Asher. Asher is such a. He's such a has such a pure mind. Yeah. That he didn't foresee the dark stuff that we saw because we are twisted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's pitch each other. Wait. Uh, I want LMG. Cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the first one. All right. All right. You get the last one. <laughs> Willie, what uh, you got? Pitch me, brother. All right. Here's what I got. I got the present scanner. 
<laughs> Here's what every common Christmas... a common theme in Willie D pitches. What what <laughs> Scan- scanners. scanners? What else did I scan? The the no 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 not a bad thing at all. No, I didn't, I didn't think it was one. <laughs> but Lauren goes, whoa! Oh, no, I started getting a call. Oh oh, I get so many scam calls all the time. Okay, continue your Um, you did the you had the scanner for for groceries. Oh yeah yeah yeah. But the present scanner is think about what do you wish you could do on Christmas? See of all your friends and everyone you know whose presents amounted to the most <laughs> dollar value. So the present scanner, you scan your pile of presents and you upload it, <coughs> and then you can see who got the most Bang valuable, yeah, the most valuable gifts. Mm. Um, and it, you just scan your pile of presents, it instantly, because I think they have the technology now to like, doesn't like, on like Snapchat, can't you like scan things and it'll like tell you where you can buy it? I think that's a thing. Yeah, I, there was an app back in the day where you could scan something and it would tell you what it is. Yeah, Never mind, so <laughs> it instantly scans all your presents, calculates the dollar value, uploads it, and then you can you know compete against your friends. It's really healthy and very fun. I love it, and here's how we make even more money off it. You ready? Yep. It's a year-long thing, and every time you buy something, you scan it, mm. and it's like social media, and it'll be like, It'll be like, Will just overtook Rusty yeah, in like most money spent this year. It's really healthy. It's what social media is missing, which is a way to directly compare monetary value with other yeah. humans to kind of determine who's the best guy. You can also you can also do it to people's Instagram pictures. It tells you how much their outfit's worth. Yes. Yes. That would make social media healthier and better for everyone involved. Absolutely. All right. I got an advent calendar, but it's fun holiday drinks. So I like like that. After dinner, we pop it open. We're all having white Russians, right? Also, got into white Russians this this weekend. Is that like milk? It's it's milk, vodka, uh, um. There's got to be some liqueur in there. there. I can't remember what it's called, and then like some other stuff, and it's delicious. I made vodka once in college, <laughs> and, oh. and but this is what we did. We I put. <laughs> Don't say, don't say that like it's a drink that we know. <laughs> no, 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 this is what I did. I put milk and vodka in a, I don't know what you call it, the thing, like when you're making a latte, the, the frother. The frother, yeah. Yeah, and so I was like, what happens if I put milk and vodka in this? <laughs> And we did it at a Christmas party and oh. frothed it, and it just completely congealed. It was like the consistency of like goop, like oh. um, like slime, like when you make slime. <laughs> like and it, Yeah. It was, if you punch it, it's a solid, yeah. but it can pour like a liquid. It was so gross. We were eating bites of it, and uh, I almost threw up. Did you get drunk? No, I mean, from other stuff, not from the vodka. Milk, uh, I, was pretty, I think I was pretty drunk to have had that idea, honestly. So. Stop saying Von Milk. That's like, what we call it. I like that um, Will, Will, Will goes, what the heck would happen if I did that? Like, you're doing a science experiment. We were like frothing <laughs> milk. I was like making a latte that morning, and I was like, I wonder if I, yeah, anyway, it was disgusting. Don't make Von Milk. In That's like a, uh, do you guys do car bombs ever? Or did yeah, you? Yeah, you have, yeah. If you like let it like sit long enough, it'll like curd. Ugh. Yeah. Um, Wait, finish your admin. Okay, yeah. So, so you pop it open, and it'll be like tonight's hot toddies, and like the whole family's like, yeah, and like, <laughs> and then uh, it. Oh, the family's like. Yeah. <laughs> 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 then it has all the ingre- It has all the ingredients in there for five for five people. I love that. I love that. Yeah, and it's only for families of five. <laughs> so it's, we're both. Well, it's good. like <laughs> we're both sad. <laughs> Are we all families of five? Yeah. Bingo. I think if you're not a family of five, something went wrong. (laughs) Because like two kids is not enough. Yeah. One kid, you're you're not you're not even a family at that point. (laughs) No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm sorry. I'm just joking. I just I do I I'm very I'm very very uh into the into the system of three children. I think I think it's always good. Uh. Preferably two, one gender, one the other. Mm-hmm. Like both my sisters would gang up on me, and that sucked. But then, like now that I'm older, like I'm the cool one, and oh, so yes. like I get to pick the third. I get to pick like my partner, and like we like gang up on the other one. Mm-hmm. Wait, we have the same. So it's you and then two older sisters. Mm-hmm. That's like my family. It's different. Yeah, Little Young, brother. youngest brother, two older it's sisters. Different than mine. <laughs> it will has Laura. I have Laura and Sam. Sam, and then me. Okay. Um, <laughs> I've got rapid- not in that order for the record. Yeah, Sam's older than Laura. No, Laura and then Sam. Yeah, and then me. Yep. Okay. Okay. I have wrapping paper that you can lick like an envelope, <laughs> so you don't have to use tape when you're wrapping your presents. You just lick the part well, that you want to seal. 
And well done. Yeah, it's just, that's awesome. Yeah, the tape is always like I never like I always take too much or make them. It doesn't. We look, should do that. It doesn't right. look like aesthetically good. Like that looks no, that like looks crud. Like shit. Like imagine if you could just lick that. And that looks stick like it right. That looks up. like crap and fuck. It looks like crud and shirt. <laughs> so that's my idea. It's ra- it's wrapping paper that you can lick like an envelope. I feel like this is actually a good idea. Yeah, yeah, I like that. The problem is like, like, is all of it glue? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so but like if no you problem. touch it normally, it's fine. It's only yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, all right, this one's not Christmas related. <clears throat> you know when you're like, it's Sunday and all of your fantasy team is playing at the same time and it's like impossible to keep track of like yes. what game each one is? It's red zone, but it only shows you uh, plays made by players on your team. That's actually really good. Wouldn't idea. that be sick? It's still narrated by it. Like you get, a, you get like assigned a guy. I think it's just like an AI narrator. Oh yeah, yeah, you've, yeah you get assigned a guy. Yeah. And no, I think like each major player has their own announcer. I like the idea that it's narrated by AI. It's like now we move to the he, Texans game. Yeah, CJ Stroud is driving. <laughs> CJ Stroud choked yesterday for my fantasy team. By the way. I'm about to go. I'm. I'm I am. Uh, I have solidified uh, the number one spot in the Friday Beers League. Even if I lose out, um, well, this is the last week. I know, but oh, really? I yeah. was okay. wondering about that. Are you guys still like doing that? Yeah, we both yeah. made the playoffs. We He's both the made the playoffs. The league, I'm far, the best team in the league. Got clinched a bye, and um, and yeah, I I'm playing on, for a bye tonight. I was on Edge and Bobby's team. How are they doing? Probably terrible. The three. I, I, oh, they're not in it. Oh, I I had to pick half of that team. Yeah, I smoked yeah. that. I smoked you guys like two weeks ago. Blue. All right. Um. Yeah, that's my second pitch. All right, that's great. My my third and final pitch is the gas powered sled. <laughs> Everyone loves sledding, but what do you wish? A that you could go way faster, and B that you didn't have to like walk the sled back up the hill. So the gas powered sled is just you go <laughs> like you like speed by everyone. And then when you come back up the hill, you just turn the gas on. You just cruise right up to the top. Love it. Uh, it is eerily reminiscent of the snowmobile, though. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll concede the reminiscent part, but mine's different because it's like for kids. It's like a toboggan. Like a saucer. Yeah, no, it's like oh, you know that would be crazy. You know what sleds <laughs> I love though were the ones that are like. Like like long and flat, and they they're like foam, and they just had like two handles on the front. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, they like doubled as like a as like a, a wakeboard in the or like yeah, a, like a almost. knee board in yeah. the in the summer. But like you could dive head first, and you'd go like flying yeah. if you. The saucer ones I never like, worked. Like no, the, the saucer, saucer ones were those never ass. worked. Yeah, you would ones. you would be a little saucer girl. Be saucer because that because the saucer the saucer ones are for people that like don't care about. Speed or direction. It's just like I want to like I just want to like spin until I'm nauseous going yeah, down the hill. Exactly, they weren't fun. I never enjoyed going down the hill. In I'm, college, we would take the lids of trash cans and go yeah, down the hill behind the dorm. The Alexanders had a uh, had a had a wooden toboggan, like one of the old school ones with like rails on the side. Yeah, I always thought that was pretty cool. cool. I, don't, I built one once. Yeah, I feel like at this point they're almost more for show. I've yeah. never seen one like actually. Like a functional wooden toboggan. I think you. I you. Think, I think you need a really specific like type of hill for that to work because yes. like they're the the bottom are like are like rails if I'm remembering correctly. Mm-hmm. So like for most for the commoners hill, you would dive and it would just like dig into the grass. That's what. So my dad and I built one when I was a kid. I was like, I want to build a sled. Like so, we built one out of wood and it had metal rails. And that like the biggest oversight it was that we didn't curl the edges of the rail like we bought yeah. like pieces of metal and like so just immediately anytime there was like a bit of a divot it would just dig in and you just go fucking yeah. flying over the front of it you ever seen that picture of uh park you ever seen that picture of arnold schwarzenegger and george hw bush riding a toboggan together no put it up right here it's the fun it's the funniest duo Is that real it's a real picture it's the yeah. funniest duo we can put it up in post it's not that I, i'll, I'll describe I it. i'll it. describe it to you yeah. right now it's it's the two of them um on the biggest wooden toboggan you've ever seen, they both look like they're having a blast. <laughs> but it's like it's awesome. it's like you put a, t- a random name generator and you were like, what would be the two strangest celebrities <laughs> yeah. to be doing it? George H. W. Bush. Yeah. It would, I would make more sense if it was W. But I guess well, not with the timeline. I feel like maybe. Yeah. Um, all right. I got an Elf on the Shelf subscription. At night, after the kids go to bed, we come into your house and we move the elf on the shelf, and then we we come up with like really creative hijinks for it to get up to the night before. I like that. So that 
that like you never would be able to do because you have your own job. Yeah. We spend all day brainstorming what's the funniest thing that the elf on the shelf could do tonight. I, I don't really get the elf on the shelf, but I've been seeing memes lately. It's yeah. like when your parents forgot to move the elf on the shelf. It's what's like the idea. Like, so basically, it's it's like an elf that like does it only moves when you're not looking, okay. and it like gets up to all sorts of nonsense. Like I saw one the other day where the elf on the shelf like. The parents like went way too far and just like destroyed the bathroom and put it in there and the kids were like freaking out and crying <laughs> because it like they're they're always like kind of borderline um like aggressive but it's it's like you're not worried that it's gonna hurt you this one it was like it, like painted on the mirror and like <laughs> like blo- like the like, chamber of secrets like blood on the yeah all their toothbrushes <laughs> were like upside down and their kids were like dude nah. I saw one the other day and the parents put one in a blender. I'm Ooh. like, you're scarring your children. So and, and they put like red splatter all over the kitchen counter. What? Like, that is not. Yeah, that's too far. <laughs> I would no. get carried away. No. If I ever have kids, if I'm ever lucky enough to, you know, bring life into this world, I'm going to get carried away with the elf on the shelf. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think, I, I don't think we were in an elf on the shelf family. I think there's something, I don't, I don't want to scare my, I don't want my kids to be like worried about it. Yeah. Because it's also like once Christmas you know. ends, I would still be like. He's still like here, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, he goes I back to Santa's workshop. Oh, that's He's true. Got shit yeah. to, uh, earlier today. Rusty asked me. <laughs> he asked me if it if it was ever okay for two platonic dude friends to just adopt kids and uh, raise yeah. them. Like, we were talking about boy. starting a family, like, raising yeah. kids just with your boys. What Could sparked that conversation? Oh. Uh, I said something about like. You said something about like our kids, and I was like, our kids oh, or something, oh, and, and oh, then yeah, and then yeah. he was saying like. It'd be funny. He was talking about his boys. future wife, but I was yeah. It would be pretty funny to just adopt and raise some kids with your boys. <laughs> Will and I were talking about this was the same conversation, but we were talking about like uh, how funny it would be to be in like a four way relationship where like Will and I would like yeah. sleep with the same women and we would like just not know whose kids were whose. Yeah. But then like once they started to grow up, like it would become like abundantly clear. That they were like all mine or yeah, something. Like they're like, all <laughs> very hairy. <laughs> like, uh, um, yeah. All right. Should we do, yeah. Lauren? Do you want to do Christmas traditions that don't exist first, or Christmas movies that don't exist first? Let's do movies. Well, what are some of your favorite Christmas movies? Well, I, I first of all, I love Christmas movies. My favorite Christmas movies are first of all, I love We Four Kings. Yep. It's about everyone knows about the three kings, but yeah. no one knows about the fourth king mm. that showed up and was like. Bullshit. That's just a regular baby. <laughs> and they were like, you fucking kid. That's the Lord of Lords, you asshole. <laughs> and he was like, no, that's just a regular baby. You guys are gassing us up for no reason. Yeah. So he left and then he felt like an idiot. And so it kind of tells his whole story. Yeah. Of him realizing that he missed out on being like a huge part of like the future of the universe. Yeah. His word like, also didn't hold any merit anymore because they were like, you were wrong about like the biggest thing that's ever happened. Yeah. He was like an outcast and he had to take his. He brought a gift too. It was like beads and yeah. they, he just had to Lent. leave yeah. lentils lentils he brought lentils <laughs> Frank, gold frankincense myrrh and lentils what could have been i like uh my one of my favorites is the christmas truce mm. it's when um the british and the germans stopped fighting on christmas eve that's and, real no no i know oh, oh. <laughs> and but this is part this is part of the story that's untold there's there were these two soldiers that were enemies and they were both like I kind of want to stop fighting and they try to escape to Switzerland mm. and it's about their Christmas journey through Eastern Europe. Yes. To try and make their way to Switzerland. I remember that one. Yeah. yeah I love that one. It kind of, I, I love, um, all I want for Christmas is union wages. Yep. It's about when the elves, um, find out about collective bargaining <laughs> and they hold Christmas hostage because they want a fair contract. And so one year nobody gets presents and Santa's freaking out. Yeah. Um, and so he has to give them all livable wages and health insurance and paid family leave. And it's kind of a huge win for elves. That one's that one's good. I, it's not as good as Shrek the Halls, though. Oh. Yeah. It's basically um, Duloc, the kingdom of Duloc. It's a new king who hates Christmas. And Shrek and Donkey team up with... Um, with Santa and Rudolph and other Christmas characters to try and bring Christmas back to Duloc. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that kind of reminds me of, have you ever seen Rudolph's Last Stand? No. Um, things reach a boiling point with the other reindeer. Yeah. Um, and it, it, Rudolph recruits an army <laughs> and there's a full out, full scale war on the North Pole. 
Nice. And it's extremely bloody and violent and dangerous. And he teams up with the South Pole, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. He gets all the I have seen that guys one. from the South Pole, and, yeah. and he it and with his nose so bright, he he's victorious. That kind of that kind of reminds me of uh, Snowed In. Mm. It's a it's a Christmas rom com where every year these two families uh, go on a ski trip together, and um, the boy, the youngest boy and the youngest girl, like hate each other, but now they're grown up. And they haven't done the ski trip in years, but there's a big storm that comes and snows them into their ski house. Oh no! And uh, they realize that they that they really like each other. Wow! Yeah. Look at that. I love the naughty list. It's that horror movie where Santa. One year, more people are naughty than ever have <laughs> been before, and Santa realizes that just coal isn't enough. Yep. And so he starts going house by house to all the naughty people and doing really horrible things to them. That kind of reminds me of Christmas with Dad. Mm. It's basically um, these two brothers, their mom has a really important business trip in China. Mm -hmm. So they have to go spend Christmas with their dad, who they've been told is this like deadbeat alcoholic their whole lives. And uh, they don't really get along like the first couple days. But through Christmas spirit, he kind of becomes a better guy and realizes that he wants to be more involved in their lives. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. I love I Saw Mommy Killing Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. That's a classic. (laughs) Santa Claus is dead. And one six-year-old boy is the key witness, and he has to choose whether to testify against his child, uh, against his his mother, um, in defense of his childhood hero, or accept that Santa isn't real, and um, that mommy was acting in self-defense for the old man who ran into their house screaming. Hmm. Like, yeah. Wow. That that reminds me of uh, the Christmas storm. Hmm. Uh, one year, a giant storm comes and wipes out all the Christmas tree farms. Oh, no. And there's only one big evergreen still standing, and the whole town comes together and puts their presents under this one tree, and they all celebrate it together. That sounds lovely. Yeah, right? That's a really good idea. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's a really good movie that we've seen. <laughs> it definitely exists. That's awesome. Yeah. That's a great one. Um, I have one more, but I also realized that... Uh, do you have one more? No. I okay, so... Five. I wrote I wrote down this one. You and, have to do the bonuses. Too. Well, no, because I wrote this one down, and then one up you. five minutes before the podcast, I realized that um, I think it already exists. He, yeah. he earlier, by the way, when we were writing, we were in the same room, and he turns and he goes, "Fuck, I just wrote the plot to Elf." <laughs> <laughs> mine, mine was slightly different. Mine was like an elf fell. Actually, no, I thought it was different, and then now that I'm saying it aloud, this kind of also happens in Elf. It was, it was that the the. Uh, I guess it's just elf in reverse order. So this was this was the elf fell out of Santa's sleigh while they were delivering presents, and then like a family adopts him. But that's kind of exactly what happened. Yeah. Elf. Um, the one that I came up with was Mr. Claus, mm. and it's basically this like known Santa or this known like Christmas hater, um, like somehow stumbles upon Santa who's now too sick to deliver presents, oh. and so he does it. But I'm pretty sure that's just the Santa Claus. No, it also uh, sounds like I don't know. Fred Claus. Yeah, I'm pretty. I, I, I I'm all like I'm almost sure that that there's something like that. Well, I liked it. I like the one about the Christmas. The one Christmas the tree, tree left is awesome. No, I was picturing uh, Charlie Brown. Like that's like a Charlie Brown situation. Kind yeah, of. yeah. That guy was, well, what was that? Guy? Yeah, well, he didn't come up with it. I did. So. <laughs> <laughs> he wishes. Um, right. Well, what are some what are some Christmas traditions that your family does? Well, in my family, we love to do the greasy step. Yep. Which is before my parents wake us up on Christmas morning, they grease one step on the stairs. And then as all the kids run down it, you got to be really careful and hope you don't find the greasy step. Because if you do, you fall hard. Dude, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. That kind of reminds me. um, We'll take my cousin Ryan's schizophrenic medicine and we scatter it in a couple different of the advent calendar things. And so whoever's day it is, sometimes they just have like a really weird day. That's that's (laughs) that's awesome. (laughs) In my family, uh, we do the thing where now that Santa's a little bit older, he doesn't want milk and cookies. So yeah. you have to leave cigarettes and rum for yeah. Santa. Um, ever since my my parents split up, my my dad told us that Santa got older and he just wants cigarettes and rum. Now. I heard that also. Yeah, and you have to buy them also. Like he won't pay for them. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in my house, like after Christmas Eve dinner, one person has to go hide, and if we find you before it's time to open presents, then you don't get any of your presents. <laughs> Well, I have um, the also the thing where... The I mean, time out. I just can't get over the fucking greasy step. Dude, that's so <laughs> funny. <laughs> All right, continue. I'm sorry. In my family, um, we do the thing where the, the Grinch and his evil ways 
has to return everyone's most expensive present that <laughs> night. So, because just lately, the way things have gone in our family, the Grinch has to return everyone's most expensive yeah. present because he's the evil Grinch. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's fun. But at in my uh, in my neighborhood, we would go around and we'd photobomb all the other families' Christmas cards. Mm. And yeah, it was always a good time. Like with the middle finger, right? Didn't you do that? Yeah, we'd like do like, 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 like naked. Yeah. Yeah. Blah. Yeah. In my family, we do the, you know, if you're coal, if you're, if you're bad, you get coal. If you're good, you get presents. If you're yeah. medium, you get a whole <laughs> nest of bird eggs in your stocking and you have to care for them for the next year and raise a family. I think our dads were kind of thinking the same thing because my dad, if you have been really bad, mm -hmm. you get hot coals and he <gasps> comes around and he drops them into your hand with a barbecue tong. And if you can hold on to him for 12 seconds, then you end, you actually do get your presents. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Uh, in my family, we do the sad vent calendar. Yeah. Where each day leading up to Christmas, you open the little thing and it tells you a really, really awful thing that has happened over the course <laughs> of human history. And it puts things in perspective leading into the joyous time of year. Yeah. That's fun. Um, usually, just after we open all of our presents, we end the day with a Christmas movie marathon. And anytime Santa's on screen, everyone has to take a drink. Mm, yes. And we watch like seven or eight Christmas movies, so it gets pretty strange. That's awesome. With yep. the little cousins, too, right? Yep. That's great. I love Christmas. I mean, too. It's so fun. Yeah. What about you, Lauren? What do you do in your family? <laughs> um, I don't have any crazy ones. Shut the fuck oh. up. Shut the fuck up and come up with something. So right come up with something right now. So have... you You're like making us look bad. You eat a big, you eat the biggest present. <laughs> we, um, <laughs> we all Santa, eat the biggest present. <laughs> Santa picks my family up at midnight and then he takes us to the tallest building <laughs> in the city and then we all have to jump off into the lake. <laughs> it's well, called it's like a mass suicide. Well, well, yeah. No, no. No. Well, in my, in my, we, the tallest well, building is no, <laughs> the, the Sears Tower. <laughs> well, no, no, yeah, he, well, he's supervising. Oh, he catches you with the slate yeah, at the last yeah, moment. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a, it's like that scene in Star Wars <laughs> when like Anakin falls off and he, yeah. It's like yeah. an amusement park thing, so it's like you're safe. It's fine. Oh, <laughs> I didn't thank God, safe. thank yeah. God, you're safe. <laughs> It's Dodged really a bullet, dude. Uh, dude, the, oh the visual God. of just like three children piling down the stairs. <laughs> and just one of the steps is just slick as all get out. <laughs> just fucking. I like that one. That one was fun. Uh, wow. Also, my, my parents are happily married. Everything's fine. Dude, that was. The, I like the theme of like. <laughs> Like, like your dad's just having a tough like year. Yeah, like, like you have to return your most valuable present. Even you're 23 years old. And yeah. You just like haven't figured it out. You're like it's really weird. We gotta. <laughs> Santa's been. <laughs> Wait, those were fun. What are you guys most excited about? Just like for going home. Honestly, I'm. Well, my parents moved to Maine last year. Mm -hmm. This is my second Christmas now in Maine, and uh, there is something really special about like being up in the cold in the Northeast. Yeah. Like I mean, all my Christmases before in South Carolina, and it was mm -hmm. just like nice. So now it's like. We have a fireplace and it's snowy. It's like how it's... Thanksgiving doesn't feel like Thanksgiving if you're in like a warm place. Either. Yeah. Like now it's like same thing. I think I think we've gotten. I think we're going home to like some pretty serious snow. Is there going to be snow? That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I'm going to curl up by the fire. And yeah. Play the guitar and read some books Aww. and play Scrabble. It's going to be awesome. Lovely. Yeah, I can't wait. My mom and I go to this place and get sweaters every year. Oh. Which Imagine is... ones. No. Like it's just this place. You all, we should go there. It's called Portland Dry Goods. I'm down. They have like nice sweaters, and we always go there. I and then last year I got her like these really sick leather gloves. I might have already told you this. No. Got these really sick leather gloves. It was like the first time I had like enough money to get my mom like a nice. You know, your sisters will usually just be like Venmo me. Like I'll put your name on this. Like, yeah, Venmo yeah. me fifty bucks. Like it was the first year I took initiative and was like, I'm gonna buy something that's like clearly from me. And I got her these like nice brown leather winter gloves. And I came back like a couple weeks later and they were like a noticeably darker leather. And I had to confront her and be like, did you, did you return them and get a, a different color? And she was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. At least That's she was That's a good honest. gift though. That's yeah. Yeah. Cool. I thought they were nice. nice. That was a blast. That was, I had, I had a great time. I love Christmas. I'm excited. I, I love Christmas. I do too. And, all, and whatever holiday you're celebrating. We yeah. Just happened and I didn't want to, I didn't want to go down the road of. Traditions of religions I don't understand fully. Yeah, Skylar. All our playmates. Skylar's Jewish, and I was asking him for, like, we were brainstorming together, and he goes, uh, he was like, "What if it's a movie about like a Jewish superhero who his his like superpower is his menorah is like a flamethrower?" <laughs> and we kind of came to the conclusion that like 
taken out of context, that could be probably not a great clip to yeah, have. I think, that, I think that was the right call on your part. <laughs> Doing I mean, that in a Santa hat I did too go, would seem kind of strange. I went to a Hanukkah party the, on Thursday night. How was that? It was it was lovely. Um they have like a like some sort of like song that they all like sing when they light the candle. It was pretty cool. That is cool. Barukata Atonai. Is that it? No, no they that's just, just for Shabbat. Yeah. Oh. Well they also did that at my buddy Riggle's Bar Mitzvah and it was so catchy. Riggles. Alec Riggle. Alec Riggle was half. So he got Christmas and uh, Hanukkah. That's the play. Those dude. Were the lucky that's ones. the play. I was talking to uh this girl this weekend, she's dating my buddy and he's Jewish and and he was like, it's the greatest thing ever because she has to give me eight. He, she got him eight presents this year. And that's just like sick. way more than you would get if you were a Christian. Yeah. Amen. Or or agnostic or whatever. No, Christian, I think was the right word. If you celebrate Christmas. No, no, no. I mean, like, like there are people that like still take part in Christmas. That oh, are, you yeah. know what I mean? You can still. I mean, I don't think I'm really. I don't really know where, where I stand with religion right now at this point in my life. I don't know where I stand with the big guy upstairs. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, that too. But <laughs> I mean, I don't know where he stands with me quite at this moment. Quite. Yeah. yeah. Um, that was a fun one. That was a fun one. We will see you guys next Wednesday for New Year's the New Year's, New Year's episode. episode. And which, let's just say we might have some good resolutions. We're going to have some good resolutions. Also, I was thinking that's because we're going to do resolutions that don't exist. Yeah. Those are just, resolu- those are just regular resolutions. Yeah, because none of them ever exist. Well, no, it's like, it's like they could be real. Yeah, it's up to you. Fair, true. All right, you want to go eat some crongo cr- bread? Christmas pie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we All love right. you guys. Love we'll you guys. See you next Bye. week. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy Happy holiday. Peace.